the internet is no different you know in, in fact it's just, it's works on the five senses but in a, at a much faster pace a much faster rate you know because we are, are seeing so much more on a visual level and obviously there's a, the auditory element to it and um, you know, everything that we had before the te technology was sort of vamped up to the point that it is now and um, the speed of the programming, the visual impact of, of the things that they see and, and, you know, the, connect, the, the bit that connects, the emotional part of the brain that connects the things, of the emotional side of the human, you know, that that's always been a concern of mine with, with technology that if that makes sense so so everything's quicker we process everything a lot quicker than we did before it was here so but yeah I, I've often felt that seeing so much a way of seeing things I've always been concerned that it, it will compromise the emotional part of the human being you know the connect the, the bit that connects the emotional part of the brain that connects the things young people see now on the internet um, they become more and more desensitized and also with with the gaming um, you know some of the games that they play are so graphic and some of them really disturbing there's obviously a darker more disturbing side to that but they killing things and obviously the visual imagery and the visual images of those things are getting more and more real so obviously there's that element as well that the whole gaming thing that's another form of programming that I'm not sure is such a great thing seeing those types of things so if they were to see something like that play out in real life they might have a thought process and think well that's wrong that's not good or but they might not have the the feeling of horror or disgust as much because they'd already been playing a game that um, their brain has become conditioned to it a lot faster so they may be more accepting of those things which isn't necessarily a good thing either that's always been a concern of mine with with technology that you know the connect the, the bit that connects the emotional part of the brain that connects the things I mean, I, it's like everything, you, there's always, you know, two polar opposites to every argument, you know, I'm sure that there could be people that would come up with an argument that would say, well, actually, it could be quite a good thing. Uh, you know, the, the fight or flight response situation, if they had to sort of act in a, in a, a very non-emotional mode about something, which would actually save their life, maybe that conditioning could come in handy in that respect. Maybe maybe that conditioning could be a good thing um, if they needed to have no emotion in a situation. Um, and the fact that they, they didn't let their emotion get involved in a situation, they were able to save their life, they were able to act very quickly without thinking about something or letting the emotions hinder their speedy decision-making process. So yeah, there's, a, there's kind of you know two sides to it all but I, I do feel that with the younger generations being exposed to a lot more than perhaps maybe we were as, as young people they have a tool where they can access this information or access certain things or see certain things you know this, this the whole thing on Facebook and social media and sharing things I mean my older daughter she said oh so and so sent me this really disturbing thing she showed it to me and she was kind of like I was under the impression it's going to be something kind of funny but it was actually this really disturbing thing about this person being set on fire and she said oh my friend sent me this it's a bit weird a bit of vile isn't it and she she acknowledged that it wasn't very nice but she was quite sort of oh you know throw away about it all she was like, oh god I, you know I clicked on this link and, and this was there. So sometimes people will share things with you 
you don't know what they are. You click on the link and then there's something really disturbing. And that seems to go, that seems to happen quite a lot with the younger people. You know, they'll sort of share these disturbing things with each other as a joke. You know, that, that's always been a concern of mine with, with technology.